Angel Fairy M Systems video 101 for Lee Shenzhen. Hey Lee, how you doing? I hope I pronounced your last name correctly. Um, okay, so uh, I thought I would run through this on video uh, and give it a little soundtrack. Um, not a soundtrack, give it my, my, my own vocal soundtrack before we speak. Um, so I'm going to get, just go straight into it, try and get this done as quickly as possible. We're just going through part one today, part one of two. Okay, let's have a very quick look at the websites that uh, contributed to this. And we're not seeing it properly because a bit of it's cut off, I'm afraid. At the very beginning, there was this website here. And this was a virtual tour I created using Flash. And in 2002, this was awesome and it was the first of its kind. Um, went on to create a website from it, kapevillas.com. That went on to do very well. Then getting towards the end, about 2009, um, end of my time in Cape Town, rather, about 2009, I created uh, Experience Africa, initially as a commercial concern. Now it is a, uh, a save the elephants concern and, and, and a good one. 2011, I started sworld.biz, which really is very, very rough and full of some very odd song lyrics from here, place to place. But um, this was what the foundation, and there's over, I think there's about 700,000 words on this website, so it's, it's a lot. Two years later, 2013, brought out American Butterfly at AmericanButterfly.org which contains the books, The Theory of Every Business, and the free follow-up books, Spiritually Inspired Software, The Network on a String, and The Butterfly. After that, went in, made a commercial website, test out the franchise system that I was creating. Worked well. Uh, this developed into what is now Villa Secrets, which we're not seeing properly, I'm afraid. But uh, here's the homepage. This is uh, one you want to search for Villas. Here it is. And it's really starting to come on well in mobile as well. And when you get to a villa, we still have the nice slider and down. And we'll be talking about this soon. It's Angel Theory M System 1. Um, added to that, I created network.villasecrets.com, which is the business plan, which is M system one okay and uh, most recently the newest website is angelfury.org that tells the story of all of those websites and all that has been happening in the last six years right okay so I'm just gonna start going through it we're on the first page this is M systems illustrated summary and we are we've got about 17 pages I think of summary to go through and we're going on to Word. Okay. M Systems are a set of 17 different powerful components which collectively work to create a virtual global network design to evolve into a powerful economic system called S World. Yep. There you go. Now, we're paying a lot of respect to particle physics and theoretical physics. Now, Everyone knows of Stephen Hawking, absolute genius. Let's hear what he has to say about M theory. Now, M theory, this is called M systems. So obviously M theory is the main thing we're basing it on. Uh, now, no one's, most people have never heard of M theory. Most, a lot of people haven't heard of string theory, which M theory arose from. But let's just listen to what Hawking's saying. Ever since Newton, especially since Einstein, the goal of physics has been to find a unified theory of everything. M theory is the only candidate for a complete theory of our universe. M theory is a unified theory Einstein was hoping to find. So there we go. M theory is awesome. And what we're going to do is we take 17 parts of M theory and we look at the principle in physics, or at least I have looked at the principle in physics, I then translate that, I simulate it into rules that work within a business system. Now, this is not dissimilar to people using game theory. 
Um, I'm just basically doing game theory, but taking influence from M theory. Okay. Page two gives us a run of all the systems. I'm going to read them out. M system zero, the GGW string, S world, receives a percentage of each company's gross profit and use it in ways that we call shapes to achieve network ambitions. And system two, S web and the T FBMS, that's the total financial business and marketing system, give many small businesses and individuals websites, business software, AI, sales systems, database connectivity, the and the type of branding, marketing, and SEM and SEO usually only afforded by large companies. Okay, so it's a big system in system one. That's uh, and that's most well, it's half half complete. The S-Web is complete, the TFBMS is to be completed. System two, ripple effects. This is a work in progress and it's really gonna be absolutely awesome. I'm not sending this to any of the, uh, the philanthropic investors until this is finished. Um, and this will be finished in about five or six weeks, I would say. Um, the rest of it will be finished within about a week. We're just going back to M-Systems two afterwards. Um, that it includes Experience Africa, it also includes the Siena Equilibrium, which is a type of game theory I am developing that I think uh, is, is, it will be significant. Okay, uh, M System 3, the Susskind Boost, considers different ways to boost S-World company profits. A lot of this is just business. It might, have, it might be thinking a bit more about business than people usually do. But most of this is business. It's ideas from economics and from physics thrown into business. Okay, another one, the P-Tent and QSF, that's quantum safe forecasting, assesses applications and if satisfied, grants the business a license and after which the business that uses our systems correctly are protected from failure. M system five, POP is a point of annual company profitability after which additional profit is invested into creating new businesses or grand networks, large resort styled property developments, and special projects of ecological, economical, scientific, or philanthropic intent. M System 6, the theory of every business, which is in essence American Butterfly, creates ecologically safe grand networks and special projects. Note that grand networks in locations of abject poverty, such as Malawi, are special projects. And that's really a, a key thing about the economics is that we do it in a way that the ripple effects just help help people a lot. But we'll get we'll get to, I don't I don't want to go into too much detail, certainly not on the second page. M System 7, S World Virtual Networks. A this and this will be part two. We're starting part two now at System 7. A simulated universe and virtual world which mirrors our own. And that's the key. It mirrors our own. A social and business network which is fun to use, great for real estate and travel companies, and which showcases S-World's grand networks, our property developments, to their buyers. Okay. Uh, M System 8, S-World Films, sees films and TV series you use product placement of S World concepts, and there's already. I mean, this this whole thing that we're doing right now really was based on a film I wrote in 2011 called uh, the Sienna Project or Sienna the Movie, um, and we're going to go into detail on that in an update. Okay, M System Nine Supercoupling seeks to grow the network in a safe but rapid fashion, and that that chapter's really come on quite a way. Uh, it's it pays respect to uh, high to string coupling, which is a quality of string theory. M system ten revenue times efficiency times spin. The res equation looks to keep money network credits within the network and increase the spending, so increasing the overall S world economy by increasing the speed people spend money. If you doubled it, for instance, people spent it every two months as opposed to every four, you would double the economy. Okay, 
M System 11, Quesk Quantum Economic System Court, learns from S World members' actions and presents new opportunities. S World number 12, sorry, M System 12, S World UCS, turns S World virtual networks into a mass online game. And this is a very well thought out strategy in an awesome game. In fact, it's many, many, many games all raveled into one. M System 13, UCS Voyagers, makes a copy of the game, sends it forwards in time so members can simulate business in the future, then choose to follow the opportunities or not in real time. Basically, that is economic time travel. Nothing short of. M System 14, as with everything, sorry, just, just on that, as with everything, the more people use it, the better it is, because you've got more opportunities. Okay, M System 15, sorry, M System 14, Angel Cities create five future way stations from 2020 to 2080 with a mandate to design a future world we would want our children's children to live in. Then, work, then we work backwards, creating the ripple effects and strings of opportunities in our time that will lead to the future simulations. Now, in physics, this is known as Feynman's Alternative Histories, which says that uh, a point, a particle, can have an alternate history and an alternate future. So what we're doing is we're picking a point in between 2020 and 2080, which I think is going to be 2032, I think, something like that. And that's going to be where we really try and make things happen. And then we go backwards to where we are to make sure things get there. And then we go forwards to uh, to this hive of every, everything we could possibly want to have to happen in our world in 2020 we, we build into this model and the only way people are going to have a really great 2080 is if people start from there thinking about what we want to happen there and then taking it back and obviously this is to my advantage because my system started at this huge great big visionary thing that could happen in the future and then took it all the way back to where we are with villa secrets and now we're bringing it back out again but I, I've got a good idea what I'd like to happen in 2080, and we call this Angel City 5. And that is one of the main links on the Angel Theory website. Okay, um, then M System 15 creates grand networks as twinned opportunities, i.e. a rich network like California is twinned with a location in abject poverty like Malawi. There are many models, but the first is to create a significant amount of small to medium companies in California and twin the system with a grand one network development called Fort Malawi. I've actually repeated myself there a little bit. I will change that soon. Okay, this system's actually much bigger than what I'm talking about. And it's it's quite complex math. So we're really going to go into that at the appropriate time. But it, it this why angel theory is because of angel POP. If you have a, a, a an opportunity where you've got, say, 64, different companies you can invest in. Uh, 16 are A investments, 16 are B, 16 are C, and 16 are junk. But everyone has to invest in them. As that happens, the more invest... Sorry, I'm actually I'm not going to go into it without having the diagrams in front of me because it, it is a little bit too complex to explain off the cuff. But it's awesome. <laughs> Okay, lastly, Angel Versus considers philanthropic and big business investment. There's not a lot happening in here because I don't know much about big businesses. <laughs> All like, other than imagining they're like a small business, but bigger. Um, but there is uh, um, some, some, some significant stuff that needs to come. And that will come with having conversations with some people from big businesses. Okay, right now, 14 minutes, only on the second page. That's not good. I really am going to have to rush through this as much as I can. But I, it's difficult for me. This is why I made them all as one-page summaries. Um, because I'm no good at summarising, but now I've got 141-page summaries. Okay. This is me. I have a discipline, a passion for complex networks, the laws of nature. And I have a design called S-World which, as we've discussed, is 17 different systems that simulate laws of nature as described in M-theory. Okay, 
we're just gonna I'm just gonna force myself to just okay here we have the, the points of similarity in physics we are going to go through these uh, M theory is an economic system in general can we use the laws of M theory to build laws in economics and laws in business well of course we can you know it's it's an example like any other it's just seems to be a rather untapped example I, I can imagine that this could become a very popular pursuit for people all over the place going just um, okay different shapes of strings for different uh, sorry different shapes and behaviors of strings is the GGW string we'll be looking at that soon uh, butterfly and ripple effects boosting strings string firement diagrams, the Heisenberg uncertainty principle, butterfly effect and the theory of everything, chaos theory and rounding errors, string coupling and the singularity, conservation of energy, the butterfly effect, Newtonian space and general relativity, what can happen does, that's the quantum mechanics saying, uh, Feynman sum over histories is also quantum mechanics, light cones is not completely sure but i think it's general relativity it's definitely from stephen hawking who introduced me to it yes no it is general relativity sorry okay uh m systems in 10 dimensions string quantum mechanics and supersymmetry so those are all the areas of uh theoretical physics and real physics that uh, that that we've taken some some influences from, we, and we've also we're mixing with that now, starting to with game theory, which I'm very new to, um, but uh, it's it's a very very useful tool. Here's the systems architecture. Let me see if I can blow it up a little bit more for you. And here we see how the systems work. And system one, which is basically the company bit of secrets and the technology we want to build for it, uh, and that can, that can move into other industries, we, we pack that with a load of ripple effects, so we boost it. Then we use every single thing we can possibly imagine that can boost a system, and we work out some math to work out which ones we should apply to which companies to get the biggest result. Um, we then use the peak tent, which is basically our sort of handbrake, which says, Okay, you guys can do this, but this formula says that this is going to be quite risky. If that is the case, they have to go back and find a new strategy and come through again, submit. Or if they, uh, if, if we come to a, a, a solid company that we think is good, that passes the peak test and quantum safe forecasting, we go on to the rest of the system. And there we have POP1, financial gravity. This is basically started from chaos theory, the theory of every business as the economics, S World VSN as the virtual tour, S World Films at the film, super coupling adds some clever physics that, uh, and it also, it, it helps us explore the, the wonder of POP, the pressure of profit investment system. The res equation is some good economics. Quesk is some good computer programming. We're going now into the game, which goes off into UCS Voyagers, which are the future businesses. And then we have the future way stations, one, two, three, four, five. Lastly, we, second to last, we have Angel Pop, which really saves the entire planet. And everyone's just gonna be wonderful if we can get this to actually work. Um, and last of all is those Angel Verses, which are the big businesses, which, and then, you know, we basically start again. It keeps going round and round and round. It gets bigger and bigger. It's the precise opposite of a pyramid scheme, which is, uh, I think it's the English way of saying a Ponzi scheme. It's the opposite. Okay, let's uh, lower this down again. Okay, so we see in the systems, the GGW string, green, green, Witten. Okay. Okay, give half back. Okay, well, this is pat on the back for me for being such a nice guy, but I only was after terrible tragedy as I, this little bunny here, I uh, didn't make it past her eighth month. And I sort of thought after that, I need to do something in her name. I need to, I hadn't really done anything before 
that I was particularly impressed with, other than running a company. Uh, anyway, look, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna dwell, but um, the point is uh, the, the whole system, everything, uh, Angel Theory, M Systems, all of it is designed to create taxes. In essence, we tax the companies and we take half of uh, half of their profit after a certain bit, but only after they've made more than they would have done had they done another venture. So people only ever get taxed when they do really, really well. It's like having a, it's like the original American version of income tax. And thank you, Peter Schiff for enlightening me. I think uh, it was something like if you're making the equivalent of 15 million pounds a year, and then you paid income tax. So that's what we're sort of looking at here. We're looking at taxes on the system once people are doing very, very well. Um, and in addition, um, a, a general tax on sort of uh, this, that, the, the tax when you when the company's doing very, very, very well is the POP, pressure of profit. It's not even a tax. It's just investing into into into, into projects that can help. Um, but there's also the GGW thing. I'm not going not going to get too into details. But uh, the bottom line is this is all about saving the world from itself and making a wonderful place in the future. Here's the implementation strategy. We can see up here, we've got Villa Secrets, some real estate companies we wanna work with, and Sir Richard Branson there with Virgin. Um, at the same time, we've got M Systems, and we've got some universities here, University LSE, London School of Economics, Cambridge. Oh, I'm not gonna go through them all. Paul G. Allen Family Foundation. Uh, Paul G. Allen loves ripple effects, well, according to his uh, website, um, and I, 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 he's, he's really inspired me. And that's this, to, to, to put this whole thing in terms of ripple effects. Uh, and, and that's where it started. It started with American Butterfly. Look, we can see the butterfly here, butterfly effects. That was what it was about. It was about one thing leading to another, leading to another, leading to another. And if you have enough of that going on, you, you cancel stuff out by a process similar to renormalization, you could really get somewhere. And uh, that's what this all important chapter two, M system two is gonna be about, but that's not coming for about six weeks. Okay, so we got uh, the real estate at the top, uh, the uh, universities at the bottom. And over here, we've got the, um, the philanthropists, Jan Zuckerberg, Bill and Melinda Gates, Paul, um, this one here is Twitter, Start Small Foundation. And you see that then goes through to parent companies. So that's, uh, so as and when Angel Theory is finished, we'll be following this path. Okay. Here's an idea of the S-World company structure. S-World is Siena's world, short for S, short for Siena's world, sorry. Okay, so we've got M Systems and Angel Theory, which is pretty much the same thing. Um, S-World, we've got Villa Secrets, there is S-World VBN, M System 7, Virtual Business Network, there is S-World VSN, Virtual Social Network, there is S-World Films, S-World UCS, that's the game, Universal Colonization Simulator, and then there's Experience Africa. And we'll be making more as we go. Um, how Villa Secrets expands is it has various different departments and very different uh, countries, or it will have. At the moment, we're only doing Africa, uh, but we're soon going on to California. Looking forward to that. And you can, we'll see, the, it's, one has to look at the uh, information on Network Villa Secrets actually to properly see this. But these, we make many, many individual companies, basically, small companies. Um, the idea is if you've got more owners than you have staff, you're <laughs> things will go a lot more smooth. But the trouble is small companies, it's really difficult without the right software. So we're making them the right software and going really into detail about making the right software. Um, and marketing software, we'll, we'll look at that soon, but the idea is we create many, 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 many small companies, and they all latch together to become a very stronger network.
and then with that we take that into property development here and we'll see more about that later okay game theory new to me but um, I seem to have got a, a passion for it um, we're just talking about uh, it being the study of mathematical models and conflict and cooperation used in military strategy, business, economics, politics, computing, and psychology. I think the main thing to say about game theory is it's great for me to have a tool that I can use to translate the work and the simulations from physics into a rule that is nondescript at the moment that can be translated into game theory and then can be presented to people in a format that they are ready for. And the general idea is as all the systems are connected, are all following the laws of nature, they, they combine with each other better than anything else can. And um, we'll be looking at the specific value of David and Goliath. We just spoke about that. Big companies, not as good as small companies, as long as they have the right systems. What's going on here? Okay. Uh, inspiration Stephen Hawking's been a big inspiration it's only recently since mid 2016 since I started reading his books um, but he really has helped me uh, an awful lot and here's, here's some here's some quotes that I've got if we discover a complete theory of the universe it should be it should in time be understandable by everybody and not just a few scientists and when that happens all of us will be able to discuss the why rather than the how and this is what I'm trying to do here I'm trying to make a complete theory of the universe, or more to the point, I'm trying to translate Hawking and many others' current best theory of the universe into business and economics and then into game theory, or just into this presentation. So as someone can read through this presentation and they don't have to talk about string theory or quantum mechanics or even know what they are they don't, it doesn't matter to them if they're talking about the simulations and how they work well with each other they are in fact also discussing the why rather than the how they are, are just people it, it popularizes it okay he also i saw he also says i don't believe the ultimate theory will come from steady working along distance Existing lines, we need something new, and bang, yes, well, M theory, M systems, rather, is something new. Um, <clears throat> and um, from Dr. Giovanni Emilio Cam Campellia, uh, he's, he's a very awesome physicist. Um, see the program, How Small is the Universe? He's hilarious uh, and very cool. Um, when you're stuck chasing a certain answer, you'll often discover discover all it took was to, fi to find the answer was to look at the problem from a different angle. So, again, that's what we say. Don't look at it in terms of physics you can't prove because things are too darn small. Simulate it all into an iconic system and then run simulations in the economic system to try and see if that can give you any ideas about what would happen in a physical system. That's okay. Professor Hawking on M theory. Well, we've heard that. Uh, actually, we haven't. This um, it is actually important. Um, M theory is a uh, in physics is a lots of systems that work in combination, but don't always necessarily work with each other. Um, it's basically like a map where you, you, you have to put things down next to each other for it to work at the right size. Actually, I, Porky says it a lot better than I'm trying to explain it. Um, M theory is, is similar. The different theories in M theory family may look very different, but they can all be regarded as aspects of the same underlying theory. And what I'm saying is like M theory, the different theories and disciplines in the M systems family may look very different, but they can all be regarded as aspects of the same underlying theory. As we saw that uh, system diagram earlier, they all connect. Um, Hawkins just saying theories are good if uh, they describe a large class of observations and have few arbitrary elements and that has guided the system quite a lot 
Um, it must make pedef pede definite predictions about the results of future observations. Now, there's this whole physics thing started one night with a quote, you may not predict what an individual may do, but you can put in motion things that will move the masses in a direction that is desired, thus shaping, if not predicting, the future. Okay, so that was from Isaac Asimov. I heard that in, I think it was May 2011, and it completely changed. This was sort of referenced with uh, string theory and a theory of everything. So if we want to know where the physics came in and what's, what caused it, it was this quote and the, uh, the, the chat I had with Anthony Rubar at the time. Okay, M theory and economic science. Can we use M theory as an economic science? Well, if we can, this is why. The laws of nature are meant to economically compress a number of particular cases into one simple formula. Okay, so the idea is if we've got 17, currently 17 significant simulations, um, all of those simulations will work together a lot better than if you had 17 aspects of a plan that had no common thread. Because they're all simulations of, uh, of, 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 of the laws of nature, they're all, they've already been pre, they're, they're all, they're all working, they're all, they work well together. They be better that way than not. Simple as that. Better that way than not. Okay. Dr. Amanda Peet, another, and yeah, oh, then we've got all the physicists, I should mention them. Uh, it's at Asimov, he's not actually a physicist, but he was an inspiration. Edward Lorenz, Bernard Mandelbrot, Garrett Lisi, Brian Cox, Brian Green, Amanda Peet, Michael Green, Leonard Suskind, Stephen Hawking, James Gates, Leonard Maludlo, Edward Witten, Giovanni Camellia, Andrew Strominger, Kamran Vari, and the economists, John Nash and David McAdams. In fact, there should also be Peter Schiff in there, but actually this is all professors. This is the professors page, so Peter's not actually a professor, so that's why he's not there. But he... Okay. We are at 32 minutes, and I think I will pause it now, and this will be a video of the introduction, because otherwise this is going to be just ridiculous. Okay. Cheers, Lee, and anyone else who might happen to watch this. I hope I did not stumble too much, although I know I did. Anyway. Um, got to start somewhere, right? Thanks, guys.